Hey y'all, Danny Moon here. <laughs> um, I just turned the camera on because I feel like I'm stalling. Like, I feel like I'm stalling. Like, I don't know why I'm stalling. Like, is there people out there maybe stalling? I did ask Spirit to bring me in, um, like, the, the energy of the collective because this is a daily message. A daily midnight message is what I call them. Um... And it's like I, oh no, what happened was, is I got an email from someone who needs me, you know, um, you know, this needs me with this whole spirit thing. So I have to attend to that, you know, um, but now I know people out there need me, you know, you need a good word. So I'm a wing this right here. Okay. Spirit is still in the room. So spirit will definitely guide me. Um, did I say the intro? Hey, y'all, Danny Moon here, pole girl, whatever you want to call me, as long as it's respectful. Oh. <laughs> I know my friends be laughing at me. Um, I, Then I started, I turned this computer on, and then I started watching my Aquarius reading, because maybe 30 minutes prior, I had just did put up the Aquarius reading. So I'm sitting there watching, and I just turned it off and turned this on. This is how I know spirit is in the room re-energize re-energize y'all um you know in the what what video was that um i think it was the sagittarius um their energy is like depleting like going down people are sucking their energy and so if any sagittarius is, is watching this my message is still the same spirit message is still the same you have to re-energize. You have to, it's almost like charging something, like plugging something in and charging it. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, if not, you won't do no justice for yourself and you won't be able to help anybody around you. So come on now. You know what I'm saying? So spirit, can you come in and give me something for the collective, please? Can you please come in and give me something for the collective? Something that they need to hear. This is a general reading and it will not resonate with everybody, but I hope they do. I hope it do because this is, um, this is a daily message for you. So I hope all of, all of it resonates with you. You know, it's advice. It's something that you could, Sometimes I listen to the daily messages from other readers so that I can get advice for the day or for the month or for the week or for the whatever, you know, um, like I listened to some Lenormand. I don't know if y'all know that they did a yearly spread for me. So that's something that I'm going to follow by and watch out because I love the Lenormand deck. I have an, a Lenormand deck, you know what I'm saying? So I hope all of these messages resonate with y'all, okay? So try to take it in, apply it to your life, because remember, none of this is me. I'm just a vessel so I can give the message to y'all and so that I can receive the message because it's helping me too. Um, please press like y'all. You know, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. I'm new to spirit. I'm new to everything. So I'm learning that if you press like, what is it? Like, what am I gonna sound? Sorry. I'm like, um, if you press like, subscribe, of course, please tell your friends to subscribe because it's like my subscribers will go up each day and then I get like a stalemate where I'm stuck at one number for maybe a week or two. And then I get nervous, you know what I mean? Because I really want to... I want to reach the people. I really want to reach the people, as many people as possible. So please share. I don't, uh, you can share it. What you going to do? Share it on your Facebook? You can share it on your Facebook. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But I, I really want you to tell people. I want you to tell people, Danny Moon, Danny Moon. Like tell them how accurate I am because you can look on the comments on no, no, no. Tell them how accurate spirit is. And you can look on my comments to see how accurate spirit is. Okay. Um, so make sure you press like and subscribe. All right, spirit. Magic. Now, some of y'all is like people who come and listen to tarot. If you listen to tarot a lot, you got to believe in magic at least this little bit. 
I believe in magic. Oh, I, I'm a little witch, witchy witch. So I believe in magic, you know, but the skeptics out there, magic is whatever you want it to be. Magic is what you make it. Magic is really like taking action. When you take actions with your step, spirit is guiding you. Okay, so magic is whatever you want to make it and you can create it. When you set intentions and you write your intentions and light your candles and pray, that's magic. I know people thought magic came with like a little wand and you see sparkly fairies, even though you could do that too. But it, I know you thought it was all like the movies, but it's really not. Magic is really prayer. Seriously. Um, here we go. Spirit, can you take one out for the collectives, please? I don't know why I just got sudden death. I do not know why I got that. I don't know why I just got that, y'all. Inner knowing. Inner knowing is like higher wisdom, is like that sacred wisdom. It's like the art, what is it called? Art something records, the Arkeshic records, something. Higher knowing is also magic. That spirit talking to you, but you gotta be open enough and willing, willing enough to listen. I'm the, I'm a past that sudden death thing that I just saw. All I'm telling y'all with that is that, you know, buckle up. If it has something to do with a car, make sure you check your car. You buckle up. Make sure everybody is safe. That's it. I don't like to give. I told you I'm new with spirit and things and channeling. I don't like to give no bad, no crazy news, you know, especially over a YouTube thing. So what we got? We got truth. I always teach my daughter to speak her truth. As a parent, I know when she's lying. So, but when you're telling the truth, I tell her when you're telling the truth, stand by your truth. Okay, whatever your truth is, you stand by it. Sorry. I don't know what that was. Like a little. Anyway, dreaming. Two things I get from dreaming. Um, don't keep, don't have your heads in, head in the clouds. Don't let life pass you by. Don't be like, duh, 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 don't do that. Second thing I get from it is if dreaming is dream big. Don't dream half ass. Like I can only get to him there. Dream big have big goals and there's a ladder you climb the ladder until you make your dreams until you get to your dreams till you get to your goals it may sound corny y'all we see this in movies we you know we hear people say stuff like this you know and it's cool but it really works like if you even like a vision board of your dreams you know have a vision board because i tell you if you speak it see it Think it, feel it, and write it. I just added those two because it's true. If you write it, it's your intentions. You feel it, it's coming from your heart. That's love, that's spirit. That's what spirit gra gravitates to. All of this flesh and this mind, mm -mm. spirit gravitates to your soul. So if you feel it, you speak it. Speak it into the universe. Say, I am. I know. This is me. Speak the present, okay? See it, visualize it. You can visualize it in your mind or you can do a vision board. It really works to just cut out pieces of things of your favorite, but be realistic. Do not cut out a mansion with a, with a, with a, um, don't cut out, a, why is anyone calling me at this time? Don't cut out a mansion if you're making $7 an hour. There ain't nothing wrong with making $7 an hour. Just don't cut out a mansion for that. You know what I'm saying? What you should cut out is like little money and money signs and stuff so that your money could grow. 
You know what I'm saying? Because eventually, maybe in the long run, in a couple of years, you will get to that mansion. But let's start with a cottage or a house or a way, a cottage, apartment or a house and then a mansion. You understand what I'm saying? So dream and dream big, but don't feel like you can't obtain your dreams. Uh, Tasha, is there a Tasha out there? Tasha. I don't know what Tasha. Um, breaking free. Break free from society and what society wants of you and how you should be and should act and what you should say. Now, does that mean jump off the bridge or jump out the window? You know me and my slang, y'all. I don't mean that. I don't mean that literally. Um... But what I am, I was looking at a, a text, um, but what I am telling you to do is break free from what society thinks you should be, okay? Like, people don't think I should be doing this stuff, and I should be walking the right line and talking the way people want me to talk and doing this and doing that. Nah, kid, as long as I'm respectful um, and as long as I act appropriately, you know what I mean? Um you know, there's always guidelines you got to, you know, but you, be you, be you. Break free from this box that everybody has to be in, okay? Break free from, you know, break free from all of the bullshit and just do you, okay? Be respectful, follow the guidelines, like, you know, act appropriately and stuff like that. Don't speak foul out your mouth, speak your truth and speak from your heart, but do you, Plain and simple. Um, the next card, this is a different deck, is ground yourself. Some people don't know how to do that, but and it's hard to do in the winter. But like my daughter's father, the other day he went out and and took his he took his socks and shoes off in here, and then he went out and just stood on the ground just so that the earth can. So his, how can you say it? So his energy and that the earth's energy can intertwine. Spirit, God, universe, whatever your place is, your wherever you are spiritually, you still got to ground yourself no matter who you are, no matter what you believe in. You have to ground yourself, connect to earth. Hug a tree, walk by a tree, okay? Now, I don't, I don't mess with bugs or nothing like that, but tr like the other night when the moon was out, it was freezing outside, but I just leaned up on my car, closed my coat, and just stood at, st stared at the moon so that I can get that energy. Then I left my water bottle on top of my car so that I can make some moon water, you know what I'm saying? Like, do little things like that, you know? And say if you don't believe all that, say if you be like, that's bullshit, then what's going to kill you to try it, right? Won't kill you to try it. And look what's on. Look what's over here, y'all. These cards are all crazy. Okay. Intuition. Intuition. A lot of y'all out there got the same abilities. We all have the same abilities, y'all. We all, sorry. Um, we all have the same abilities. It all depends on who taps into them. So if you, if you got little feathers, if you see feathers like around, you know, you probably think of some dead bird is around. But say if you just see feathers, no matter what color they are. Say if you see numerology, synchronicity, 1111, 444, 333. That means the universe, spirit, and God is trying to get your attention. You better look up and stay focused. That's what my friend's mother always used to tell us growing up. She still say that. Hello to Miss Beria, if you watch this. Um, look up and stay focused because he is guiding your steps, okay? And he's knocking on your phone. Go ahead, trying to get trying to get your attention in some type of way but in order to in order to hear spirit in order to hear the universe in order to hear God in order to hear the divine you're gonna have to like look up close your eyes see what you hear and don't think you're crazy I'm gonna keep it funky um I did them other cards. Let me do these cards right now. I really don't think Spirit likes um, my other deck. So, and you know why Spirit probably, and I'm guessing, 
Spirit, can you please come in and give the collective some answers to their questions? Can you please give them some accurate messages to lead them on their way, to guide them on their path, whether it's money, career, which is almost the same thing, almost, um, romance, or their personal purpose? In Jesus' name, amen, so mote it be. Thank you, Spirit. I heard just now, we, we're here. And then I heard, knock, knock, knock. It's crazy. <laughs> defense. Don't be on the defense with nobody. Don't argue with nobody. If you do, follow the guidelines. Be respectful. Be appropriate. Don't scream and yell, but speak your truth. Here we go, Spirit. Can we tell the um, collective something? And uh, something else came to me, y'all. Um, Spirit laid on me that a lot of y'all are still messing with, like, your exes. Stop. Okay? At some point, you're going to have to say, I'm going to move forward. You need to stand your ground, walk in your faith, and do it. Now, is it hard? I've been there. Trust me. It's hard. But you're going to have to do it and you're going to have to push forward and you have to know that there's someone better, someone, even not better, there's someone out there that is compatible with you, okay? Your ex is your ex for a reason, okay? Um, wounded warrior, nine of, nine of wands. You've been through so much out there lately, y'all. Y'all been through so much, but that was 2020, this is Brent. This is only the second day. Second day. We got a clean slate right now. Clean slate. Spirit, can you please um can you thank you, Spirit? Can you please give me something for the collective? That's just what I was gonna ask. The hangman, y'all. Didn't I say that spirit is knocking on your forehead trying to get your attention? This is the 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 this is the card of enlightenment. Like you, you was enlightened. Like, you know, some of y'all out there know that know what you're supposed to do. Y'all know it deep down, like what path you're supposed to take or what you're supposed to do to get your life in the right direction, or at least to try to change your life a little bit. Y'all know what you're supposed to do, whether that means let me get out of this job and get another job, or let me, um, let me um try to mend this relationship or let me walk away from this relationship, whether it's a family issue. Sometimes you got to walk away from family. You know, sometimes you got to love them from a distance. OK, so it, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You just got to keep praying for them and you got to keep praying for the situation, too. But remember, you have to su sustain your energy. You can't keep depleting your en energy. Um trying to make something work or trying to make people love you or trying trying to convince yourself of something like you can't do that um victory six of wands victory this is for all of y'all who was taking action in 2020 y'all didn't let this virus y'all didn't let this president y'all didn't let this um what do you call that um this government, y'all didn't let none of that stop y'all. Y'all, y'all just kept pushing and pushing, and now you have victory. You coming through? Like this is this is super great. This is mean you you went on several interviews. You finally got the job that you wanted. Um, this means, or say you starting that right now, like yesterday, January first. If you doing that and you pushing forward and you taking action, that that's you on the right path. Spirit made me stop this. I was watching myself. Spirit made me stop watching myself and just hit the button to get these messages out. So please, please apply them to your life. Now, here's here we go. Two of swords. Somebody in your, you in your mind about something. You worried about what the future looks, looks like for you or what the future holds for you or whether you gonna get money or your stimulus check or when you getting it or you thinking about some when you gonna see your kids or you thinking about why somebody tried to play you
right family issues i'm seeing family issues i'm feeling them and more you 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 blinded and you got to make a decision but you the moon is here so you fearful to make that decision so you think by staying behind these this all of this is going to help it when you take them blindfolds off because eventually you will when you put those swords down because eventually you will guess what's going to be there the problem so you might as well just get get it get get it out now take it off now you just holding yourself back you just making um delays for yourself seriously um spirit can you oh, hear yeah, this one nope someone's in the hospital who's in the hospital Spirit, can you, um, thank you, Spirit. The world. This means something's coming to an end. A cycle has, has gone. A, you're done with a cycle. You're done with a whole cycle of your life. Now you're net moving to the next cycle. And it's going to be prosperous prosperous it's going to be abundant like you are going to decide to take action in the areas in your life where you need to you are going to decide to <clears throat> take a leap of faith you're going to say fucking i'm gonna move i'm gonna just move and start all over you're gonna say fucking i'm gonna start saving my money i'm gonna put ten dollars away you're gonna say fucking i'm not arguing no more you're going to say, fuck it. I'm not doing this negativity thing no more. I'm not, no negative energy. That's what I had to do one time. I had to say like, no, I'm not dealing with nobody with negative energy. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? And you just said you, you cut one cycle of your life out and you moving on to the next. This is an excellent card. The emperor structure, stability, higher than the king. The king comes to him for advice, okay? So spirit is saying they want you to embody this strength. You know what I mean? They want you to embody this direction. Like the emperor has direction. The emperor has a thought in his mind and goes with it and runs with it and says, this is what I'm going to do and sticks to his plan. He gets all his ducks lined up in a row. He saves his money. He writes everything down. He makes sure that the kids and everything else and the family, everything is all right. He makes a decision and he says, let's go. Again, somebody needs to make a decision when it comes to either family or relationship. Like, if, if you are arguing constantly, no. Okay, let's go for that. If you're arguing constantly, then you know what your decision is. Your decision should be, <clears throat> let me walk away from, from, from this for a minute get my thoughts together and then come down, come back and sit down civil, like civil adults and get this together. Now, if this is what, the, what came to my head just now? Oh, if this is sex, like sex with an ex, if this is continuous sex and you don't know what to do and you undecided, Oh, I love him, but I love her. And I, but I don't know what to do. Should I stop? Should I not stop? Should I move forward? Should I wait? You better than that. You're better than that. You already, because you got the world in your hand, you already know what to do. You already know what choice to make. Boom. <laughs> when you get the two of wands, this is, means you're undecided. When you get the three of wands, that means you already know. That means your ships are coming in. That means you know exactly what to do. So start moving. And look what comes at the end. Doo, 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 ten of cups, y'all. Because <laughs> that's where spirit, the universe, and God is going to lead you to who you need to be. Who you need to be with. Wow. Spirit, can you come in and give me some any advice? Financial, romantic, romance, I should say. Per life purpose. Can you please come in? I, you know my phone cuts off at uh, 33 minutes. It's 24. Spirit. Oh, this one. Hard working. Yes, hard work. The Eight of Pentacles mean you work really, really hard. But that's what the Pentacles is for. It's not like you working hard for nothing. Okay? But now you need to step back and say, can I work smarter instead of harder? You have to, to ask yourself that. What can I do to work smarter 
instead of harder because what it's going to do is going to start breaking down your body it's going to start breaking down your psyche you know what i'm saying now if this is a, a job that you work so hard at but you love it and all your passion is into it still then you need to work smarter. If you love it, you're not going to give it up. You know what I'm saying? But if you work in a nine to five, dead beat, dead end job, or but you, you know, just to pay the bills or whatever like that, then you have to step back and rethink and reorganize and restructure your life, your, that part of your life. Remember, we're only in day two. You can do it. This month is like the, you know, that thing, what's that thing that you put the thing in and you pull it back and it goes, Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, um, like it's like this, my, in, my incense, like you put it on and then you pop it and go. This is like January. This is all January to get your ducks lined up. And then come February or the end of January, boom, it'll catapult you to where you need to be. I know my little ex, my little exercises I just showed you wasn't good, but I think you all know what I'm talking about. Eight of Pentacles, hard work and spirit sees that you work it hard. This is excellent. Two of Cups. This could mean two people. This could mean a partnership and work, um, and that it's going to go great. Or this could mean two people coming together. Like we finally found love. We or we reconciled. We made up. Like this is two cups coming together. Cups is all about emotion. Okay, this is two people coming together in a partnership, whether it's work or family. So spirit is showing the cards to saying like. They say they agree with it. They're okay with it. The divine up there, they are okay with that. Spirit, can you give us some more for the collective, please? Before my phone cuts off, please. Can you? Something about babies out there. Something about babies. What? Tell me some more. Tell me some more, Spirit. Tell me some more. So tell me some more. Um, Felicia. And a Dan, Felicia and a Dan, a Tasha. Spirit, can you give me some more? Somebody, somebody like went on a date, I guess, and they're really liking the person. But they have negative, they got like negative energy around them. Not the person, the person who likes them. Like if you're watching this and you just went on a date with someone, you have negative energy around you. You have to, you know, the other day I took a spiritual shower. That was the first time I ever did that. So I went in, I met, while the water was running on me, I meditated and I asked spirit, please wash all of this negative energy off of me. What did I take? I took like, um... What's that? Not exfoliant. Like, you know those jaws that come with the scrubs? You know what I'm saying? Um, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. The men don't know what I'm talking about, but I think the women know what I'm talking about. And I just spiritually washed my body. But I wasn't thinking, like, let me get clean. No, I was thinking I'm rent washing all of this negativity away. When I And then after that, I took a regular shower. I didn't get out. I just got out my meditation and then took a regular shower. But when I got out of that, I felt so much better. Six of Cups, this is an ex trying to come back. The, the ex is back. The ex never left. You had, come on, y'all. Y'all know better than that. Chariot, move forward. Spirit is saying, move forward. You see that? This is momentum. This means move forward. I'm on 28 minutes, y'all. But you trapped in your mind, so you can't move forward. You trapped like, oh, I don't know if I should leave or I should go, what I should do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Spirit is saying there's no knots in this rope. You could wiggle out of this rope, and then you could take those blindfolds. You trapped because you want to be trapped. Seriously. Seriously, if you're outside, I just got, if, you, if you're not talking to your mother. If you're not talking to your mother... And you trapped in your mind about that it, for some reason. If you going through something with your mother, sister, cousin, but I first heard mother, like going through something with your mother. 
Spirit is saying, make it right. Communic communicate, communicate clearly. Tell them how you feel. Take them out of the environment. Y'all should go out of the environment. Get away from the negative energy. Like go, go. I know you can't really go anywhere because quarantine, but spirit is saying, go somewhere. Talk about your feelings rationally. <clears throat> spirit, do you have anything else? This came out again, 10 of cups. Whoever's in a relationship who's thinking like, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Oh my God, I love this person. It's going to work out. It is going to work out. Now, if this is your ex, if it's your ex, take it slow. Because you already see what the result is going to be. But you need to take it slow and open up your eyes and not be naive. Just take it slow. Again, this is definitely y'all all in a relationship. Am I the only single person in the, in the room? Okay. <laughs> okay, this is about a relationship. Well, look, look what you got. Look what you got. Ten of cups and the two of cups. This means a relationship is going very, very well. And this is how you're going to end up. That's excellent. Um, boom, boom. 30, 30, y'all. We on 30. Spirit, can I get two more cards, please, for the collective? Wow. And two cards fell right out. Bottom of the deck, cup of love. Again, a relationship. Spirit is knocking you on your head. And spirit is, this is the call. You see that horn? This is the call. Spirit is like, hello, get it together. But you got to sit down and you got to really hear. You got to hear. You got to know. You got to hear it because once you hear it, then you will know. The Queen of Wands, very passionate about something. If you're doing music, um, you're doing music, or if you just opened up a business, or maybe you invested in some stock or something, be passionate passionate about it put all your passion into it but but think clearly be knowledgeable about what you're putting your money into and your feelings into one more one more because we about to get cut off y'all you know i like my angel answer decks here we go last one spirit can you please come in and give them an angel answer an angel answer card please to put them on the right path path in jesus name amen so mode it b Um, press like, y'all. See? Ask for help from others. If somebody's moving out there, I feel like somebody's moving moving somewhere. Ask for help from others. If you're going through something, something, you need help with paperwork or something like that, ask for help from others. If you're going through something, email me, moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Just email me. And don't stop, y'all. Don't ever stop with the ride that you want. This ride of life, y'all. It does get better, I promise you. Woo! I did it, y'all. I'm done. Danny Moon here, y'all, and I'm out. It's your midnight message. <laughs> don't have a broken heart. Whoever's out there, just email me. I'm about to get cut off. But remember to subscribe. Um, and press like for me so that my stuff could get on YouTube. I mean, get up in the thingies. Love you.